I'll scribe in this. Yeah, that's a good one. You'll be finished by the end of the winter. Even on green. Come on, you lump. Get him. Good morning everyone. I guess I should let you know what we're doing this morning. So the clips you would have just seen uh, from our research farm buildings. We were weighing some of the calves. We were weighing all the calves that were there. Um, so today we're weighing all the calves we have on the farm um, and then they will be allocated um, to various places for the winter and for next year. Getting killed by acorns here. So for the winter we have three um, farm platform groups that the calves will get allocated to. So that's the uh, greens, blues, and the browns. So there's 30 cattle in each of those groups. There's then 30 breeding heifers that John keeps to obviously breed the calves again from next year. So that takes it up to 120. And then whatever's left are farm stores and they will go um, away um, to another farm that we have to be reared for the winter. So we finished weighing the calves. We're just running them to a new field. So that's why we picked up the creep feeder on the front of the Fergie. Um, and then I come down the lane here. My job is to turn them right up that lane where they'll find Philly G and uh, their final destination. Yes. I wonder if there's anything we can do to stop them running back into this lot. Let's bring these hurdles around, Phil. One day with Rex, and I've mastered the art of dragging hurdles. running in the second lot of the day, the cold group. So these cows, um, once they are weaned next week from their calves, um, will be going down the road for various reasons. But um, yeah, so we're weighing the calves this week for their allocation. Um, and then next week we're weaning um, and they'll be weighed again. And then the cows will also be weighed and condition scored next week whilst we are up there doing the cabs. So here they come. You're all fairly familiar with the Norfolk Farm Drive now. Okay. All go according to plan? Yeah. Yes, yes. If you got Sam? Oh, I can see Sam, still. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to be that rude. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I, I wanted, I wanted that was both selector, wasn't it? Swear like a trooper. What you can do is you can... Well, you can, well, you can edit it. it. You can... What do, they, what do the rugby lot call the finishers? Oh, that doesn't work, does it? Because, uh, no. because they are finishers, but... Do you mean the, uh, the, the the substitutes these days get called finishers? 
Oh, do they? Yeah, well, Eddie oh. Jones scores the finish. It's really good. <laughs> what are you scoring the subs? The bench. Right, we've made it to Widden Down. Let's make ourselves a plan here. How's it going, gents? this GoPro one day. Keep dropping it places. I set it up to film myself reeling up this wire and uh, next thing I do, turn around and it's on the floor. But uh seems to have survived. But anyway we've picked up this fence um, off this field here. We finished grazing this field now this year. We're gonna put this up on the run of the road hedge one of the road hedges that the neighbour has trimmed gets quite low now to the ground so when we run the cattle down the road we don't want them to think about going in over it so we'll put the fence up on the hedge got one lot in the handling system already they're going to wait there we're going to put this up and then go and get the other lot from the other half of the farm up here and run them up in as well and then we can weigh them all as one group and then they're all going to go back to where we're running the other ones from as one big massive group. And uh, they'll spend a week, a week back on the other half of the farm until next Wednesday, and then they'll be brought home. Reeling. So, Bruce has gone off down the track to get the cows. There's about 100 head of cattle down there, I think. 50 odd cows and 50 odd calves, might be slightly less. But they've got to come up through here. And then I've got to stand on the junction here and this guy has decided to break down right there. Hopefully the cows will go through that gap. Um, if they don't, then I don't know. But uh, fingers crossed. Come on cows, pass the bus. Go on. So got to run them all back past up in a minute. Whether they want to come past it again, I don't know. Come on, where are you looking? Get on. You right there, John? You want some paper? You look like you've been caught short. <laughs> <laughs> so Phil's loading the race. We're shoving them up. Have we go, Cam? Come on, have we go. Up, up, up. Up, up, up! Right on! The whole run of cabs are now. Some cows in the middle. We have one white albino calf. And that is it. In the crush now. Being weighed. We'll go and see what it weighs. Shut the front of the crush. I'm going to try and shed him as they come out. Oh. 
Look at that. One leg out, one leg in. <laughs> They're too short. Yeah. They got some trouble. Try and get the Land Rover out through this sea of cows. It's not going to be very easy. So John and Phil are going to go ahead in the Landy. And then me and Bruce are going to let them out. And then I'll follow up with the tractor. Bring up their creep feeder. Get out of the way, come on! It didn't go particularly well. The gates in the yard open the wrong way, so you can't just open them and let them out. They run into them and then they end up closing the gates on themselves. We've got one cow, I don't know if you can see it, right up the top on the hedge, which is not ideal. But, uh, don't know what I can do to get it down. In here, it's gonna have to find its own way down. Hopefully not into the field. Going for it. Ooh. It's down. All good. That's a relief. But uh, right, girls. Onwards to the field. There yeah, she is. The tractor we call Growler. Right, I'll take her back and pick up the creep feeder. Safe as ours is, right? be fine I think. Just make sure we lift him up nice and high to the junction. But not high enough that we hit there's a power line there somewhere. And just creep out really gently. I've got to get out now to do the doors anyway. I don't want to drive too fast because this thing's a bit wobbly on the forks. Now I've made a car. Fantastic find around here that nobody can reverse anything anywhere other than other farmers. Yes, thank you very much. They ought to tell people when uh, they buy their new car where reverse is. It's fairly narrow down here. Back home at the yard now, all the cows are back in the field. After being weighed, or the calves have been weighed, I should say. One last job, I just got to uh, put a creep feeder out for some cows that we moved earlier on. So I just want to take the pressure off the handler here, or off the pipes. Hold down this button, two seconds. You can see the indicators flash. That means you've dropped the pressure. So you should just be able to pull the pipes off, like so. Twizzle the handle round. That changes the third surface onto the locking pin instead of on the uh, on the grab. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't already, then please uh, subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you want to uh, say anything about it. I'll see you on another video very soon. Cheers, guys.